Hey everyone, I have here some updates about this static string driver board I've been working on. A few weeks ago I received this latest iteration of the hardware, so I did some assembly and some firmware programming and today I arrived to the point in which I can give it a try with some real instrumentation. Uh, the new hardware has new features and this is um, supporting Ethernet now with um, have UDP, TCP, able and also running a DHCP client. Then I have a really nice feature, two options to feed the board. One is using a, just, uh, as a single input a 28 volt AC, 400 hertz. Uh, that would be enough to power everything. And or the other option is just to use a dual rail power supply, so plus minus. And another nice feature is the external um, synchronization signal. So basically, this allows the board to get synchronized with the 400 hertz from the um, uh, same power supply that would feed everything else. And this is normally used or could be used in an OEM setup where um, your normal instrumentation, like this one, we will see later on. Uh, is already powered by that 28 volt AC and to be able to drive it uh, the signals needs to be perfectly synchronized with each other um, so as a, as a kind of um, oh, yeah, additional features this allows up to 5 modules so 2 channels per module and each channel is independently, can be independently uh, set up uh, with with different functions. So, for example, uh, you can use uh, an output as a, as a simple analog output, and or you can just uh, tell the board to use, uh, for example, these two channels to drive a two-phase synchro, or three channels to to drive a three-phase synchro, or just one channel to do the excitation of of an instrument, like like this one here. This is. Uh, this is a purely synchro gauge, uh, which requires a 400 hertz excitation plus two phases um, synchro signal. Um, so each output is really high resolution plus wide range voltage uh, capability. And the wide range is practically practically to the uh, to the feed voltage. So for example, in this case I'm using right now, the output can go between minus 40 to plus 40, approximately. Um, yeah, so it, it's, it can be used in many different ways. But the idea was uh, to show more or less how, how this works. And uh, software-wise, it's super simple to activate the commands to uh, configure this board. I You need this, this board now needs uh, four to five commands just to set up which basically which outputs you want to or how you want to configure the channels then you have a command to enable it and uh, another command to enable the external signal synchronization signal and basically that's all and then you send basically you send to the board the angle you want to display here on the instrument in the case of a synchro and it will do it for you and then now I have here the chance to switch on the uh, 400 hertz, 28, 28 volts uh, AC power. This will actually, this power supply is feeding this instrument here and only the excitation and the rest of the signals are going to come from the, from the card. So if I start now as you can see here now I'm running the so the the software is just sending a, a single angle, a very simple angle. And I'm sending at the moment I'm doing 0 0.01 uh, degrees per step. So you can see how precise this is, it's extremely smooth. Uh, normally this will move faster, but the idea was to try out how how 
um, precise can go per step or how, how what, what is the smallest angle I can send um, I could even have a higher resolution than this but this I think is enough <laughs> you cannot notice the difference um, and now I'm going to show the other instrument the other one is a bit more complex so here I got the other set up so you can see this display is a bit more complex and you can see here this instrument that is the hydraulic pressure from the system B is an actual um, synchro input uh, so the instrument is being fed by uh, the 400 hertz power supply and um, the card is actually providing the AV signals to the synchro and yeah software wise is very simple as I mentioned before I did a, a Python module uh, to, to talk with this board but the communication protocol is so simple that can be I also have some uh, C++ and C uh, capabilities so uh, the board is doing basically all the magic and this is uh, the, the idea of the concept is that the board does everything or most of it and provides a very simple API to the user and in this case it's just configuring the board, configuring the channels and then sending the angle and that's all it's up to someone else to figure out what are the initial values and which value to send but it works pretty simple very very simple so thank you for watching and uh, I hope you found it interesting ciao ciao